Alright everybody, listen up. Next episode is going to be the start of the January transfer window and I'm going to need you right now. Let me know who I should sign is the left back and a centre back who we badly need. Let's just face it, we badly need a left back and a centre back. So right now, leave your suggestions down below. And just to give you a little bit of a helping hand, because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to show you the transfer budget. It's currently 5 million, but Sandro is going to Tottenham for 30 million in the next couple of days as well so that should also add on a bit into the transfer budget not sure how much yet maybe 20 25 million altogether we should have so we're probably going to be looking for young talented players who can just fill the squad and if they need to play they can play simple as that great now that that's out of the way let's get into the games we're going to be playing today we got three Premier League games in today's episode no cup games no nothing we're just going straight for the top we got Swansea we got Wolves and then we finish off the episode at against Stoke. Then two days after that Stoke game, which is going to be the first game of the next episode, is against Southampton. So the team we're going to be playing in the Stoke game is going to be less than average. So let's go. Let's do this shit. At home to Swansea, squad we're going to be playing for today. We're sticking with that 4-5-1 because Mbappe is still injured. He's currently on a little, little bit of a plaster thingy there, but I'm not going to play him. I'm not risking him for another fucking injury. No way. So we got the man Werner up front. We got Klassen and Barkley, the two attack midfielders. Gaia pushed up into a centre midfielder. We're not going any defence midfielders. We don't need them against Swansea. Let's just face it. We should have more than enough firepower up front to beat them. Pulisic, Bailey out the wings. And then the back line is the, basically the strongest we can do, except Taz on the bench because he needs a little bit of a rest. So we got four more games to play before we can sign anyone so we really don't want to be getting ta injured accidentally skipped the animation for the swansea team but we still got it here this is the team they're going for they got digna out the left back that's the barcelona left back if i'm not mistaken they got the shit brother pogba in the center back leon britain is still playing football how is that even still happening they got ayu and then they have the poundland version of mohammed salah which is this salah presumably it's shit i don't know let's get this shit done and ayu actually scores the goal I still stand by my word that we should not be losing this game. That was like, first of all, Michael Keane should have got that tackle in. And then it was just a good finish after that. So nice one. Now, now we got a bit of a challenge on our hands. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go, Pulisic. Pulisic, now you've been an animal the last couple of games. So let's do it again. Like, I need you now more than ever here today. Barkley. Oh, fuck it. Over the top. Oh, what a ball. Can we get the head on it? Ooh, nearly worked out. Oh, Salah. Salah. No, not Salah. It's another shot. Oh my god, we. Oh my god, he just fell to the floor. Is he okay? Is he okay? Yeah, okay, he's moving. He's okay. But we should definitely be 2 0 down there. Come on, guy. The only reason you get put on this pitch is because you're fast and it's nice to have a nice little fast centre midfielder. So let's go. Let's use this shit. Yes, into Werner. Okay, what can we do with this now? Let's hold it. Oh, it's a good ball. Rock Barkley, one more. Oh, what a pass. And Pulisic gets the goal. Is it Pulisic? It is Pulisic. Of all the people who scores, it's nearly our best player who's, like, since Mbappe got injured. Right, let's put it this way. Pulisic has just been unbelievable. He's made it look like Mbappe has never been even here. So that's a good thing. But will he stay like this when Mbappe comes back is the real question. Come on now. Come on. Come on, boys. Oh, shit. That was really close. Alan. Relax now. Come on. Relax, Alan. Let's fucking go. Look. Look at this. Pulisic gone again. He wants more. He tastes blood. He wants it. Gets the assist. Oh, god damn. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Swansea. Swansea. Swansea need to relax here. Like, they need to know their place. They're supposed to come to Goodison Park and lose. They should know this. They shouldn't be playing this well. Okay? Listen up, Swansea. God damn it. Straight from the back. That was a shit attack, Swansea. Let me show you a real one. Over the head ball into Timo Werner. Timo Werner, ooh, probably should have got the first touch, but we'll make, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll cut it back. Oh, easy. Oh, it's easy work. Ah, oh, fuck it. Swansea actually making us look like a pack of amateurs here. This is crazy. Swansea have come out to play today. What a great game this has turned out to be. They hit a lovely shot and it's in the back of the net. That's what I'm saying, man. Swansea have come out to play today. Fair play to them, like. Fair play to them, but... I'd rather they didn't. So we got like 19 minutes to turn this around. 
And we all gotta do what I gotta do. I'm taking off Pulisic because Vlasic needs to come on. He's just, he's got the stamina on his side and he's gonna be better than Pulisic in the last 20 minutes. Dowell is coming on instead of Barkley and then Luckman is coming on instead of Bailey. We got 19 minutes to maybe scrape a draw or maybe if the FIFA gods are with us in the last 19 minutes, we might even win this game. It's, it's not likely, but we might. Come on, Cessna Young, look at that guy. Eh? Mountains, acres of space. Oh, look at that. Vlasic, make that fucking run. That's what I'm talking about, Vlasic. Fuck it. Just hit the shot. See, does it go in? Oh, he nearly broke the net. He nearly broke the net. Oh, my God. That's it. Two up. 12 minutes left. Let's go. I'm going high pressure. I'm closing these motherfuckers down. You can't just come to Goodison Park and expect an easy game. Not when I'm in charge. Let's go. Straight from the back. Klassen. Nice ball up to Werner. Werner gets the touch. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Into look, man. Oh, who's with me? I'll just pass it in. See, does anybody get it? Oh, so close. Why have Swansea come out to play? Like, it doesn't make... Oh, what? Oh, no way. No way did that just happen. Oh, Pickford, you can go home and just piss off. Don't come to training tomorrow. Don't text. Don't call. Don't even breathe next to me anytime we meet. You're like... You're shit. And that's it. End of the game. We're after losing. Quality game though, Swansea came out to play, they played unbelievable, they actually played better than like most of the top teams I've played all season, so fair play to them, but, ah, it was just bullshit in the end. Timo Werner does get man of the match, he got no goals, Velasic got the goal and Pulisic got her second one, assists come from Werner and the other one come from Ross Barkley as well, overall Werner just played unreal up top by himself, but we're missing Mbappe, let's just face it, the first team isn't quite the same without him. So we are at risk of losing four players, Wayne Rooney, Stecklenburg, Browning and Pennington. I am probably not going to renew any of those contracts because they don't really play, let's just face it. Their contracts will probably like die out near the end of the summer transfer window, so if we can get rid of them all in the summer transfer window, that is fine by me. But I'm not wasting my money on four players that I'm never really playing anyway, so what's the point? But, the big one. The big one is right here. Kylian Mbappe comes up to me and says, well, I'm ready to play. Oh, you got it. You got it, Mbappe. Welcome back. Welcome back to the team. We missed you. We're after losing a crucial game against Swansea. Now we play Wolves. It's your time to shine, Mbappe. This is all you. And just in case anybody cares, we've reached our target of shirt sales this season, which we've completed our brand exposure priority, which is pretty good. We have 131 million with a six nines after that. Why didn't they just put it 132 million? I'm not really sure, but we reached it. Which brings us up to our second game of the day, away to Wolves. Chelsea have had a game in hand, but for some reason I think they drew or lost, which leaves them on 29 points. We're on 30, so if we win this game, we'll be four points clear at the top of the table. Looking good coming into Christmas. But this is the team we're going for against Wolves. It's back. The starting 11 is back. We're just changing a couple of things. We're changing the formation back to the 4 1 2 1 2 wide. Putting Mbappe and Werner up top. The guys, the two boys that keep the games going with the goals, are back in action. Barkley and Schneidlin in the two midfield roles. Pulisic, Bailey, and the rest of the exact same as the last game, except for swapping out Aki, putting back in Ta. Look at that beautiful team on your screen right there. It's back. The starting 11 is back. So the Wolves starting 11 is in front of us. Probably don't know many of them. They got five at the back, which means they know they're in trouble today. They just know. They know Mbappe's back. They know what's about to happen. I know Rudy in goals. That's it. That's all I know. That's our ball all day. Let's go. Mbappe, first touch back from injury, and it's a brilliant touch. Look at that. Look at the space Leon Bailey has. You just keep going. You just keep going, Bailey. Yes, now hit that shot. It's a goal. Leon Bailey, like, where was their right back? I don't even care where he was, because Leon Bailey absolutely just destroyed Wolves there single-handedly. Beautiful, beautiful bit of play. Let's go, Pulisic. Now, this first half hasn't been great. We scored the goal, which is all well and good. But we need more. Like, we need more chances than that. Mbappe, fuck it. Hit that shot. Oh, Mbappe. What are you doing, man? You lost your touch. Now you're back. You need to get better again. Oh, Pulisic with that tackle. Yes, Puli. Oh, Werner's gone. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. Fuck you, Ruddy. What a goal. Oh, Pulisic. My man. Pulisic. He is the man. Like, he is the man. I was concerned. I was concerned that Mbappe's presence was going to bring him back into the average player that he was for most of the season. But it just doesn't look like it. What a fucking pass. A clean sheet is necessary today. We need a clean sheet. Like, we need a clean sheet. 
Okay, it was almost not a clean sheet there. Wow, that was close. Yes, Pulisic. Oh, fuck. Send your man back home. Like, your man is just in the showers now. He's talking in. He doesn't need to be on this pitch anymore. He just got ruined. Into Pulisic. Oh, hits bat. Right in the dick. Can we get it back to him again? No. Damn, I really want to get Pulisic a goal today. Okay, let's take this now. Pulisic, great ball to Schneidlin. Schneidlin, the man, the rock of this team. Yes, back into Mbappe again. Mbappe's return to the starting 11 and it ends in a goal. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Mbappe is back on the score sheet. Five minutes into the second half and Mbappe is back. Yes, Schneidlin now. That's why I put you in that defensive midfield role. Oh, Pulisic. Woohoohoo, the ones! You can't be diving into Pulisic, man. What are you thinking? It's two on two. I see the back post run. Oh, too close to the keeper. God damn it. Wait, it comes back to Barkley. Can we make something out of this? Oh, good. Good attack there. Ta, great header. Gets us back in the game straight away. Into Mbappe. Back up to Barkley. Barkley hit the long shot on your left foot. And Ruddy, what does happen there? I need to see that again. Ruddy was actually so confident there that he didn't even need to look when he caught this. Look at that. He didn't even care. He didn't even look at that. He was like, yeah, sound. Yeah, I got it. So it's the 65th minute. That is literally substitute minute for me. Let me know down below. Is that for you as well? As soon as you see 65 minutes, you just have to make a substitution. That's the rules. And we're only going to make the two substitutions today. We're putting Dowell in instead of Barkley and Anakuru out there instead of Bailey. I'm really liking the look of Dowell. If he can progress on up into the 80 ratings, he's going to be a solid contender to be on this starting 11. Let's go Mbappe. Schneidlin. Oh, sees the run of Barkley. Oh, that's beauty. That's a beautiful ball. Barkley, just before you come off, can you get yourself a goal? It's easy. Sometimes I think it's too easy against these teams. Even though Swansea absolutely destroyed us. But we're making up for it in this game. 4-0. 18 minutes left. We are cruising. Come on now. We need a clean sheet. We need it for the fans. We need it for the fans. Come on. Like what? What was that? Like, ta, you should be disappointed in yourself there. You had the ball and you just gave it to Wolves. Come on, we needed that 4-0 win. 4-1 does not accurately represent what this game has been like. We are back in action. What a result. Well-deserved win. 4-1 victory over Wolves. Let's just face it, we did destroy them. The team was on fire today, which they well-deserved this win. Should have been 4-0, but what can you do? We actually don't even get man of the match. Oh, we do. I just can't see it there. Ross Barkley gets man of the match. 9.6 rating. Goals come from Werner, Mbappe, Barkley and Leon Bailey. And the assists come from Barkley, Mbappe, Schneiderlin and Pulisic. Good, good game to get us back. Get the confidence going. Get us rolling into this game against Stoke. Oh, baby, look at that team of the week. It's surrounded by Everton players. We are dominating that. Only three players aren't from Everton. We got Ross Barkley, Cesc Young, Michael Keane, Ta. Schneiderlin and then Pulisic, Mbappe, Werner. That is pure domination. Let's go. Let's keep this winning streak going at home to Stoke. And like I said at the start, we're playing a bit of a weekend squad. We got a game in two days time, so we might as well give all these players a run that don't usually play. We're sending off Sandro in style. This is his last game for the club. We might as well put him up top. See are we going to regret selling him, which I doubt we will. But let's see. Look man, Odegaard right and left. Midfield three, Dowell, Sigurdsson and Davies. And then the back line is Henricks, Martina, Keane, Galloway and Panera. I'm just looking at that. I don't know why Michael Keane is there. I meant to put in Aki. That is the squad we're going for. Nearly put in one of the start 11s who didn't need to be there. Okay, crisis averted. Let's see this Stoke squad. Jack Butland in goal. Still repping that Stoke City. Fosu Mensa's there. Nice. And they got James Milner. Sweet signing for Stoke there. Afalai and Cameron in the centre midfield. Shakiri, Juff and Chupo Motang up top. Not a bad Stoke squad. Stoke usually have like the weirdest good squad. Like they have all these good names there. But they never just seem to put it together. They're such an odd team. But... No doubt me just saying that now we're probably going to lose today. But I'm going to try everything in my power not to. I'm not having a repeat of Swansea. No way. Not having that again. Look man, collects that ball off Fosu Mensa. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Dowell. Playing it around. Into Davies. Ah, oh, shit. Ran out of space. Don't even have room to shoot. Okay, Dowell has a bit of room. Ah, oh, damn. Get that ball. Yes. Brilliant. That's determination. Dowell. Dowell, bit of space. Oh, that is a handball. That'll definitely look like a handball. Into Lookman though. Lookman. I have a feeling he's going to have fucking Fosamenta in his pocket all day. That's the way it's going to look like here. Odegaard only has a left foot. 
Swings it in. Great ball. Oh, so close. Comes out to Sigurdsson though. Take it around him. Yes. Hit it. Oh, Sigurdsson. Oh my god. How did that not go in? That was so close. Yes, Dowell. Dowell is playing unreal in that centre midfield row right now. Yes. Great ball to Sandro. Sandro. Oh, good block by the defender. That was going to go in. I have a feeling that was going to go in. Let's go. Tom Davies. Tom Davies sees Dowell. Dowell, bit of space. Hit the shot. Oh, Stoker just blocking everything. It's not going to be one of those games. It can't be one of those games. Swing this ball in, Odegaard. Can we get ahead on it? We do. But Portland, easy save. We need to start stepping up our game here. Come on, get this away. Stoke can't be going 1-0 up against us. It's not happening. Not today. Tom Davies, yes. One more to Luckman. Oh, Luckman's gone. Luckman is gone. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's running with me? He has to go across the defence. I have no choice. I don't know if he has a right foot or not. Fuck it, pass it. And swing it in. Oh, Odegaard. Odegaard. He's such a flop. He's so annoying. I should have played Vlasic. I should have started Vlasic. Yes, Sigurdsson. Come on. We need a goal here before half time. This is poor. This has been a poor first half from everyone. Stoke. Everton. Everyone. First time passing to Tom Davies. Tom Davies. Get the goal. It's a perfect chance. Oh, over the bar. I'm fairly sure we have not had a shot on target yet. Oh no, we did with that header. But I'm not counting that. That was pathetic. Yes, look, man. Come on now. Let's start this attack. Dowell, back up to Luckman again. Nice, fuck it, Luckman. Hit that long shot. Oh, oh my god. We're like, that's three long shots that nearly gone in. If they just go on target, like, well, I was about to say, if they're just on target, they have more of a chance of scoring. I just Michael owned the shit out of myself. Odegaard, I've been talking a lot of smack about you. Let's get an assist out of this. He does. He does. He heard it. He heard the smack I was talking, and it motivated him to get that assist. Sigurdsson gets the goal. I thought we weren't going to score today. I really thought we weren't going to score. Oh, shit. No, Cameron. No. They don't deserve a goal. Oh, Panera with the acrobatics. That's what I'm talking about. Accidentally put it back into Stoke, but would end up getting cleared. Nice one. We need to get this second goal, like, badly, because Stoke, I just have a feeling they're just going to get a goal. I just have a bad feeling. I don't know why. Oh, no. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. I said it out loud. I shouldn't have said it out loud. I should have kept it in my head. I knew they were going to get a goal. It's just the way the game was going. They're blocking everything. Any shot I get is getting like this close to going in. And then they get the goal. Oh, come on. Now we have to come back. We're not losing this game. I'm changing the front three. I have to do it. They had their chance to play in the first team and they blew it. They blew it. We got 15 minutes left from bringing on Mbappe, Vlasic and Onokuru. Simply because it's stamina. We need fresh legs up top and I'm bringing on the front three. Let's see, can we get this win? Onokuru, one more to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson sees a run by Vlasic. Oh, it's a great ball. Oh, we just can't get the touch in it. Five minutes left. I'm going all out attack. I don't care. We have to win. Yes, Henriks. Let's go into Aki. Aki up to Vlasic. Vlasic hit a 1-2 off Mbappe. Oh, yes. Look at all the space for Onokuru. He's the onside. Yes, on a crew. Oh my god, I don't know which foot he is. Left foot, fuck it. Finesse it. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. I swear to god. He was offside. But that is no exception. That should have went in. Oh, he wasn't even offside. Oh my god. How did he just miss that? Oh, that's the end of the game. On a crew. On a crew. I didn't... I, like, it was probably my fault as well. But he still had enough time to finish that ball on his left foot. All he had to do was get it on target. This, this was just one of those games. There's not a whole lot I could have done about it. They were blocking everything. Everything I... Look at that. Like, anything I shot was just so close to being on target. It just wasn't getting there. What a frustrating game in the end. Ah, uh, Odegaard in the end gets man of the match out of nowhere. Okay, that's a funny little thing. Sigurdsson gets our only goal. Assist come from Odegaard as well. I didn't realise Odegaard actually played that well. He got an 8.9. Something to think about. Maybe he's not a flop after all. So not a great episode for points. We only got four points out of our last three games. That is not good enough. Still managed to be four points clear of Man United and Chelsea now. Two of them are in joint second, both on 30 points. So... The race for the title is getting very, very close. And if I keep dropping points, it's just going to be a lot closer than it needs to be. So that's it. End of the episode. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like. All that usual stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.